I'm Yuki Washington. I'm Jessica Dean. This morning's deadly attack happened just as classes got underway at Santa Fe High School in Santa Fe, Texas. You can see that's just outside Houston. Correspondent Courtney Zubowski is at the scene with the latest. Students were in their first period classes when the shooting started. I was really, really scared. And I was, I was struggling to keep calm. I heard so many people saying that like there was gunshots and that like people were dead and I didn't know what to think. I was like shaking. My anxiety was, it was bad. Someone pulled the fire alarm and students ran for their lives. This sophomore went to a nearby forest for cover. I shouldn't be going through this. It's my school. Like this is my daily life. I shouldn't have to feel like that. Soon after the shooting, police took 17 year old Demetrius Pogorchis, a student at the school, into custody. He gave himself up. And a minute at the time, they didn't have the courage uh, to commit the suicide that he wanted to uh, take his own life earlier. Senior Wesley Hill knows him from driving class. I didn't have any problems with him. I thought he was a cool guy. He was an interesting guy. He was very, very smart. After the shooting, search teams found pipe bombs and pressure cookers, both inside the school and nearby locations. Because of the threat of these explosive items, community members should be on the lookout for any suspicious items. Parents rushed to the scene after receiving an emergency alert from the school district. Just really scary, really, really scary. It's like a free for all. Oh, and, and what's the purpose? This morning's shooting comes as students were looking ahead to summer vacation, which starts in just two weeks. Courtney Zabowski, CBS News, Santa Fe, Texas. And stay with Eyewitness News for the very latest on the Texas school shooting. When we are not on television, we're online with the latest information at cbsphilly.com.